What I know for sure is that few things will sabotage your profit margin as much as hanging on to non-selling items so you can get full price for them. Hey there, I'm Kathy Donovan Wagner, founder of Retail Mavens and mom of America's most fun family. My mission is to help independent retailers with brick and mortar or online e-commerce stores or both find more profits and better sleep. You can improve your margins by taking markdowns. It sounds crazy, right? Quite a contradiction. At first glance, it makes perfect sense to take smaller markdowns so that you can protect your profit margin, right? I bet you maybe even stretch it to as much as 50%, ouch, but you didn't go further because then you're losing money, right? Because you're not selling it or what you paid for it. And that's not smart, right? The fact is, is that it's right and wrong. Yes, you might lose money by taking your markdowns lower than cost. That's true. In that moment, on that precise item, you lose money. But sometimes it's the right thing to do in order to save your margins overall. Have you heard my story of the Christmas vase? It's a true story of a retailer who bought this vase that she loved and marked it up. 20 bucks, marked it up to 40 bucks. And she marked it down to, you know, marked it down a little bit, 20% off. It didn't sell. She marked it back up. And then she marked it down to 50%. Ouch. But then she marked it back up. And finally, on Christmas Eve, a woman walked through the door, the last customer of Christmas Eve, and bought the vase at full price for $40. And so she said, see, that's why sales don't work. And I said, gosh, well, how long have you, did you wait? You guys, it took her 13 years to get that full price. Was that great? You know, she was so ecstatic about it. But no, let me tell you about the retail compound effect. Let's say that she took that vase and she marked it down and it didn't sell. And then she took the plunge and she took it to 50% off. And then it still didn't sell. Darn. But then she was committed to moving that base out. And so she took it all the way down to 75% off. And then her sale customer, yay for the pinkies, <laughs> her pinkies couldn't pass up that bargain and snatched it right up for $10. I can hear what you're saying. You're saying, so Kathy, listen. So she lost $10 then, right? Because she priced it at $40. She bought it for 20 and then she sold it for 10 she lost $10, right? Yes, that's true. But now she could take that $10 and immediately invest it in other merchandise that would sell better. And then she'd get a full healthy profit when they sold. And then she could take those profits and invest it in other items, some which would sell, some which wouldn't sell. But she'd create so much more sales and profits from that. In the 13 years she was waiting to make that additional $30 by not marking it down to $10, she lost out on thousands of dollars in sales and in compounded profit. I don't want that to happen to you. It's better to take a quick hit on your current profit in order to preserve your future profit. But there is a secret to what merchandise you should mark down steeply. And that's what I teach in our Retail Maven's Clearance Sales Secrets program. It's incredible. It tells you exactly what you need to do in order to have the best clearance sale ever. There has never been a better time to have a good clearance sale. Never. Because you need to move out that excess inventory that you're sitting on and turn it into cash so you have what you need in order to bring in the new inventory for the next season. It makes all the difference in the world. And I don't want you figuring out this the hard way. Our Retail Maven's Clearance Sales Secrets program walks you through step-by-step step exactly what to do. It tells you exactly what you need to do to maximize your sales and your profits while clearing out the inventory that has to go. Can't wait for you to see it. Check out the description below for links to the stories I told you about earlier and for other helpful resources. And subscribe to our channel so that you can get the tips and tools and strategies that you need to improve your profits sleep better, and become a richer retailer. Happy retailing.